How's it going? Welcome to the channel. So today we're taking a look at this stealth bomber style bike. I want to see if I can switch it from a 12 kilowatt bike to about a 16 kilowatt bike with just a change to the tuning. Let's give it a shot. And let's find some shade so you guys can actually see what I'm doing on my phone. So just for some background, I released a video about I don't know, a week ago or something like that, where I increased the uh, phase amps on this to like 600 phase amps from 480. In that video, I talked about how there was uh, someone in my comments who mentioned that they were able to increase the line amps from 150, 160 to 225. And I went through, like just asked Chat G Chat GTP about it and stuff like that, and it said, no, it wasn't a good idea. But my impression, I was under the impression that it was Samsung cells, so in the video I said, no, it's not safe, you can't do it, but you could increase the phase amps, and I got a reply to that video by saying, no, they're not Samsung cells, they're actually EVE cells, and so I did a little bit more research on, of course, AI. They said, okay, that makes a big difference because the Samsung cells put out 10 amps per whatever, and then the uh, EVE cells put out 15, so technically you could push it to 225. The controller I have is a far driver 270 amp, so it can definitely handle it, and then the motor is a um, QS273 5,000 watt, 2.5T. So definitely can handle it. Get into the Far Driver app here. Just go to Pro. So the only limiting factor, if that's true, where the battery can actually put out 225 amps, what AI said was that, you know, that's what they claim is 15 amps per whatever. But um, in real world testing, they don't really get that, but we can try it out and see what happens. The only limiting factor might be the BMS, because when I look at the battery specs, the BMS said, like, I think it was 160 amps, which this is set at. The person in the comments actually said they did it themselves, and they even had video, so we'll see. But we'll change this max line current to 225. Okay, save, save, all good. Hey, before we go any further, please just take a second and hit that subscribe button. I'm really trying to make it to 10,000 subscribers. You can really help me out just by hitting that sub button. It does make a huge difference for my channel. Thanks in advance. All right, so if I can't handle it, what we should feel when we really get on it is the battery will cut out. The BMS will kick in and I'll lose power. I don't have to, you know, turn the ignition on and off to to restart it again. Now, one of the things I noticed in the video I watched of the guy who said he did that was he he uh, accelerate very gingerly, right? And uh, to really test if it can handle that ampage, you really want to just get on it and see if it can handle it. We'll just do like a, I guess a quick pull right here. Seems to be fine. The interesting thing is I didn't really notice the difference in torque. Hmm, but let's get up here and, and we'll come to a complete stop and then and then take off. So let's just get right here really quick and then we'll just punch it. All right, full throttle. Yeah, I don't really notice the increase in torque, which is very interesting. Because one of the arguments they were making in the comments was the my increase in phase amps isn't really going to do anything because I increased the line amps, but I did feel a difference in torque when I increased the phase amps. And I'm not really feeling any difference at all increasing the line amps to 225. Hmm. This thing is very fast now, that's for sure. I mean, it doesn't have the torque to pill out or do power wheels or anything like that, but it's almost like how it feels to me is when you have a car with really good traction control, right? And it wants to deliver just as much power as you can without losing traction to, you know, maximize your acceleration, you know what I mean? That's what it feels to me. It feels like it's almost there where it would lose traction or, or do a, a power wheel. You can feel the front end kind of want to lift up a little bit, but like it does and you just boom. You know, it's going 50 right here. This thing can go 70. Ugh. I'm terrified of doing like top speed runs on these things because <laughs> Yeah, but we'll we'll go up here really quick and just oh shit a train. I want to see if we can't beat the train on this side. I don't know which direction it's coming from though. Damn it! One one question to answer: the BMS is not cutting in at all, even at th full throttle from a complete stop. It's not it's not doing anything. It's still learning the power just fine. So I also contacted the manufacturer and uh, I verified the. Uh, the battery cells are um, 21700 EVE cells. So they can, for a 70 
5 amp hour battery pack, 72 volts, you can push 16 kilowatts, you know. I don't know if the amp amps have anything to do with it, but basically right now this is a 16.2 kilowatt, and before it was 11 point something, so I think I gained like, you know, 4, 5 kilowatts probably, something like that. Close to 5 kilowatts in power, just with that little increase. I don't really feel it though. That's the thing. Yeah. I mean, to fill it, I'm really going to have to do a top speed run. Let's see. I mean, acceleration feels great. <laughs> this bike is very fast. So, if you know, I've made quite a few videos. So if you want to, like, really get into the specs and the stuff I've done, just go back and watch some of my older videos. I don't really want to regurgitate everything for other people who are following these videos. So one of the things, wow, it, actually, you know what? I think I do feel an increase in the acceleration. Yeah, I think it is accelerating faster, actually. This thing is really fast. <laughs> it's heavy and it's planted. It weighs about 200 pounds because it has a 72 volt, 75 amp hour battery. That's another thing I confirmed too, is the battery pack is 75 amp hours, not 70 like I thought. So there's a legit 72 volt, 75 amp hour battery. And now it's 16.2 kilowatts. That is a beast. Very beastly. Frig. If it goes, man. I know I've said this a bunch of times, but I, I wish I would have went with a different a motor. Because I'm brand new to these kind of bikes. I'm still learning a lot about them. And I really appreciate the comments because they were correct. But I wish I would have got the 4T. Ooh, I wish I could go back and order that 4T motor. So if you're not familiar... Basically, uh, the lower the T rating, the higher the top speed, lower the torque. So this one, I'm thinking I could probably get over 70 miles an hour, but I've gotten 70 miles, and this thing will go 70 easy. So I'll probably get like 75, I think, maybe even more after that uh, power increase. But anyways, yeah, so a 4T is going to have a much higher torque, so it's going to just rip off the line. Burnout, power wheelies, just, just rip. But it's not gonna. It's gonna. It's not gonna go that fast. Maybe only go like 50, 55 miles an hour or something like that. It's not gonna get 70 miles an hour for sure. But it's like, who the hell needs 70 miles an hour on one of these things? It's terrifying going that fast. And it's just not practical. I mean, you're not gonna run it. You'll run out of battery <laughs> so fast. So yeah, let's get let's get on the road where we can go a little bit faster and just kind of just see what our acceleration feels like. Let's let these cars get kind of a head start. So I'm gonna catch up with them. You know, the, bar, the battery's not even fully charged, so... Yeah, I don't think I have enough room. But in any case, trust me, this thing goes fast. <laughs> yeah, those... Man, I, my, my whole butt puckers up when I'm doing these top speed runs, really on anything, just because these things are so small one thing goes wrong with the brakes or you know I don't know the wheel or anything man and I'm screwed <laughs> I'm pretty I'm comfortable up to like 50 miles an hour or so but you know going 60 70 miles an hour one of these is sketch as hell so yeah I guess it's good to go now it's a 16.2 kilowatt bike nice so I guess it's really important to understand your batteries too. What's really helpful was chat GTP or Grok or whatever. Just get in there. Yeah, all I did was I copied the spec sheet that was given to me by the manufacturer. And I just gave it to uh, chat GTP. And then let it know what cells it was. And it was able to let me know exactly what I can do. What's safe, what's not safe, what's pushing the limits. Everything. So it kind of gives you the breakdown and does all the math for you and everything. You know, exactly, you know, how to... You could tune your bike, even the different kinds of controllers you can get, the dual channel or dual versus like dual controllers for like, you know, dual wheel motors. I was looking at maybe upgrading a, a dual wheel bike I have coming, a dual motor bike I have coming. Super helpful for understanding this kind of stuff. But anyways, I'm gonna call that a success, you know, like I've been hitting it. I mean, I got, it's not fully charged, but it's pretty full, like 80% charged, you know, and I'm hitting it full throttle. I mean, I've got all the throttle settings like very sporty and twitchy and everything, so it's like it is 
the BMS is not cutting in. I know the battery cells are capable of handling uh, what I have it set at. I know the controller is, and I know for sure that motor is. So I should be pretty straight at this power level. I don't think I don't anticipate any issues. We shouldn't have any thermal issues or anything like that because, like I said, it's all within spec, right? We're not over tuning anything. This is, you know, pretty much what everything is at least claimed. Well, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I really appreciate you watching to the end. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Like, comment, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. I think the next video on this one is going to be some upgrades. I'm going to add a three um, mode switch and a display. And then maybe I'll do another video after that. But then I'm going to be listing this bad boy for sale in Houston. Anyways, that's it. Bye.